Kinder Yoga is a fun way to play and tell stories with our bodies. Kinder Yoga is easy. Just do what we do and you will be great at it in no time. To play Kinder Yoga, we first have to sit quietly and listen to the storyteller. As we breathe in, we blow our bellies up like a balloon and as we breathe out, we squeeze all the old air out from our lungs. Hugh often had friends come and visit him to listen to Grandma Sophia. Only go as far as you can so you can still breathe comfortably. Remember, Kinder Yoga is to help your body grow strong so there's no need to push. Tara lifted her tail high into the air so she could feel the stretch in her shoulders too. Are you still breathing in and out and filling your belly up? Slowly lift one hand off the ground and point it out straight in front of you like Tara. Can you do that? The tiger part is now to also point the toes of the leg on the opposite side of the body behind you. Make your neck long like Tara and Yuga. Push with your hands to lift up just a little so you can see what is going on. He kept his hands out in front of him to help him balance and his knees were bent a little too. Let go of the branch and bring your body up. Have your arms stretched out and up in front of you and your knees stay bent. When we put our arms out like wings, it's easy to get our balance, isn't it? Hold your knees close and let's all rock together. So they just smiled to each other as they breathed in everything around them. Point your arms straight forward. Excellent. Keep breathing. It takes a bit of strength and balance to play statues like Yuga and Tara, doesn't it? Take a breath in, then creep your hands out in front of you when you breathe out. That's it. Breathe in and stretch up high through your arms till you can almost reach the stars. Good. When you... But still his mind was thinking busy thoughts about today's adventures. And hold your knee down towards the ground. Make sure your shoulders are still lying flat. And don't forget to give your back the gentle stretch again with your shoulders on the floor. That's wonderful. And Yuga finally climbed up into his own family tree and lay quietly in the arms of his grandma as he remembered all the wonders of his day. He thought what a lucky little monkey he was. It's time to say goodbye to Yuga and Tara. Until we meet again, stay happy. Yeah.